All right, hi. Uh, this video I'm going to show um, how to take your Grateful Dead time machine out of the uh, box and mount it into something, uh, just so you can use it and play it and everything like that. Now, uh, let's say you, you got this thing in the mail, and inside you got the time machine, you got the little SD card case, and there's going to be some little screws and nuts and standoffs. That's what these things are called. Um, now, you may have already got a Raspberry Pi. You may have ordered the one with a Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to show you how to do this for the people who bought it uh, without a Raspberry Pi, and they bought their own Raspberry Pi. So you take your Raspberry Pi out of the box. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this SD card. That's what this thing is called. And it's got a little bitty, that's a little bitty uh, memory card. This other big part here is just an adapter. We're going to take that, that memory card and we're going to plug it into the Raspberry Pi like this. The Raspberry Pi has a little thing on the back. We're going to put it so that the little copper pads are facing the green card. Uh, right, and we're going to plug it in just like that, slide it in there and just press it. It goes in, that's it. All right, now we've got the Raspberry Pi there. And now we're going to plug the Raspberry Pi into the time machine. Now, if you've already got a Raspberry Pi, obviously, just skip ahead a minute, but we'll see how this part works for people who need it. Uh, so, back of the board. Uh, it's got these standoffs. If those standoffs aren't already there on yours, then you need to put them on. Uh, you can see how that works. There's a screw head here, a little standoff coming down. And that, those standoff screws are going to go through the, um, the holes in the Raspberry Pi like that. And the 40-pin connector is going to go in like that. I'm going to plug that in so that the screws come through these little holes. And uh, we want to press down, how do we do this here? It's just, you know, you can just move it around a little bit. Sometimes you have to wiggle. All right, so we press that down so that the, the Raspberry Pi is screwed all the way in. Now, I'm going to take these, uh, take these screws, nuts, and standoffs here. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, okay, let's do this part next. So the, uh, the, the ones, the screws that came through that are right there next to the connector on the Raspberry Pi, I'm just going to screw those down right now so that the, um, the Raspberry Pi is secured on the, uh, on the time machine. Now, the the uh, these standoffs on the four corners of the time machine. I'm going to make them a little bit longer. The reason I'm doing this is so that the time machine and the Raspberry Pi, which kind of gets hot, this little chip right here gets hot. I don't want that pressing up against anything. So I'm making these standoffs to give me a little distance to the mounting box. All right, so now what I've got is I've got four long standoffs, two long standoffs in these corners, and then two that stick out beyond the Raspberry Pi like that. Now what I'm going to do is take my box. This is the shipping box that it came in. And what I'm going to do is just gently press the, uh, these screws into the cardboard box. You got to be a little careful here, and gently, and you can just push those screws into the lid of that cardboard box like that. All right, so the little screws, threads are sticking through, and then I've got me my little nuts here, which. I just tighten on there like so, 
and I have got me a time machine mounted, see? Now, you can mount this, of course, any way you want. You can make your own box and do all kinds of fancy stuff, and I hope people do. But this will at least get you started when you receive it, so that you'll have something to play. Oh, and by the way, I put something heavy in here. You're going to need to put something heavy in here because um, once I screw this down, so see, put that down like that, it's just going to fall over. So I've got me a little paperweight. Mine is just a piece of tungsten here. I don't know. Most people probably don't have a block of tungsten like this, but it's a surprisingly heavy piece of metal. <laughs> Turned to heavy metal. And there you go. Then, the next steps, I'm just going to skip ahead, but there's another video that shows how to do all this part. But basically, we just plug in the power and the sound, like so. And uh, I'll show you how to, all that works in another video. But there you go. That's how you take it out of the box and put it into to mount the time machine. Thanks.